Bernard Haynes Baruch was an American financier and statesman, according to historian Thomas E. Kruger. For half a century, Bernard Baruch was one of the country's richest and most powerful men, a great spectator, public official, presidential counselor, political benefactor, and the fatigable Almona. His public life provides a clear view of the inner workings of the American political system. After amassing a fortune of the New York Stock Exchange, he impressed President Woodrow Wilson by managing the nation's economic mobilization in World War I as chairman of the War Industries Board. He advised Wilson during the Parish Peace Conference. He made another fortune in the post-war bull market, but first saw the Wall Street crash and sold out well in advance. In World War II, he became a close advisor to President Roosevelt on the role of industry in war supply, and he was credited with greatly shortening the production time for tanks and aircraft. Later, he helped to develop rehabilitation programs for injured servicemen. In 1946, he was a United States representative to the United States Atomic Energy Commission, thought his Bruges plan for international control of atomic energy was rejected by the Soviet Union. The art of living lies less in eliminating our troubles than in grounding with them. Millions saw the apple fall, but Newton was the one who asked why. Most of the successful people I've known are the ones who do more listening than talking. The greatest blessing of our democracy is freedom. But in the last analysis, our only freedom is the freedom to discipline ourselves. Never follow the crowd. During my 87 years, I have witnessed a whole succession of technological revolutions, but none of them has done away with the need for character in the individual or the ability to think. If all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. To me, old age is always 10 years older than I am. Two things are bad for the heart, running upstairs and running down people. One of the secrets of long and fruitful life is to forgive everybody everything, every night, before you go to bed. Don't try to buy at the bottom and sell at the top. It can't be done except by liars. Do not blame anybody for your mistakes and failures. You can overcome anything if you don't believe. In trading, investing, it's not about how much you make, but how much you don't lose. No man should think himself a zero and think he can do nothing about the state of the world.
increased wages, higher pensions, more unemployment insurance, all are of no avail if the purchasing power of money falls faster. The ability to express an idea is well nigh as important as the idea itself. Making a success of the job at hand is the best step toward the kind you want. There is no such things as incurables. There are only things for which man has not found a cure. You don't have to blow out the other's person light to let your own shine. A speculator is a man who observes the future and acts before it occurs. Let us not deceive ourselves. We must elect world peace or world destruction.